Hey guys, I hope you're doing great. Okay, before we start, I just wanted to apologize for my lack of energy in this video. I just noticed that it looks like I'm literally dead and this week I was so tired and I didn't realize that it showed this much. Please excuse me for this. I still hope you enjoy this video. Today I want to share with you three recipes, uh, nut butter recipes or homemade spread that you can use on your toast, in your oatmeal. Honestly, possibilities are endless. I sometimes use them in a dressing. So I've been, <laughs> I've been, I've been buying nut butter for the past year or so and I used to make it myself but I've been really lazy too and I want to get back into the habit of making my own things because not only it's way healthier, well it depends, if you're going to an organic shop usually they're healthy but it's pretty healthier and it's mostly way cheaper and you also use less packaging. Nut butter can get really expensive if you are going for the healthy versions. Peanut butter is still, to my opinion, the least, uh, the most the cheapest <laughs> oh, <laughs> the cheapest one now if you make them organic at home they're still gonna be a pricey thing but they're gonna be way less than if you buy them in a store and usually if you go for the cheapest version in the store it's full of additives and sugars and oil and depending on where you leave so stay till the end of the video because at the end i'm gonna share with you five tips that have helped me to master the art of nut butters. So I hope that they're gonna help you too. But for now, let's get into the recipes. The first step I do in any nut butter is I roast the nuts slightly. This helps to pull out the oil of the nuts a little bit and it helps in the process of making nut butter. So I use simple peanuts, natural peanuts, and I roast them 6 minutes 30 on the grill. I'll have all the information in the description box if you don't have a grill. I let it cool 2 or 3 minutes and I add everything to a food processor. I like to add just a tiny amount of salt, really not much. So don't overdo it, it's just to make it even better in taste. And then I start the food processor and this takes a while, I mean it goes through different phases, powder and then it kind of sticks together, it forms a little ball, a little doll, and then after this is the time it gets liquid again. These steps are the same for all the nut butter, so I'm just showing you how it works here and then I'll show you without explaining for the other nut butters. And you're left with a very smooth result. This version of almond butter is a little higher in protein because I like to add flax seeds to it. Just wanted to show you another option to roast your nuts. If you don't have any oven, you can totally do it in a pan to slightly brown them. Um, flax seeds are really high in omega-3s and DHA and vitamin E, which makes it really a healthy, balanced nut butter. And again, will just go through the same process as peanut butter. You may have to scrub down the bowl a little more and wait a little longer. I start with the almonds and then I add the flax seeds when it's done and then I have my almond butter. Who doesn't love a creamy and rich and chocolatey spread? <laughs> I mean, if you don't, who are you? I like to do it half peanuts, half hazelnut. The reason for it is peanuts are the easiest to blend and to get into butter. And hazelnut gives a really nice taste. Same thing, I add everything to the food processor. Once it's turned into liquid, 
that's when I add either uh, two tablespoons of raw cacao powder or two tablespoons of chocolate protein powder. I like it kind of unsweetened, but if you wish to add sugar, do so after blending in your little jar. I hope you enjoy those recipes. As I told you before, I have a few tips that I want to share with you um, that may help you to get the perfect nut butter. So the first tip is to use natural nuts, totally natural, not even roasted, not even salted, just very natural. Because not only it's going to be healthier if they're not salted, if they don't have any additives, but also it's going to be cheaper because you will pay an extra for roasting your nuts and honestly, you can do this yourself. Also, if you do it yourself, you can kind of roast them, but not too much. It's actually healthier to have like raw nuts. So you can kind of roast them so that it gives a nice little taste and it's helping the process of making nut butters, but it's not too roasted either. The second tip is to use a food processor and not a blender. Trust me, I've used uh, all like my super highest quality blender and it's really 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 uh, horrible like it takes an eternity it broke my blender once it's just not good so I would highly recommend you use a food processor also it's a cheaper alternative to a blender make sure you use a blade that is an S shape this will make nut butter way less of a hustle it's way faster and yeah it's just like a better option in my opinion. Third tip of course when you make nut butter be patient uh, <laughs> because it will take some time. Peanut butter you can get it in around four or five six minutes. Almond butter is way longer so you may have to wait a little more like 10 minutes or even like scrub down the bowl of your food processor. Hazelnut is pretty fast uh, cashew butter is pretty fast, but almond butter is really long. So be patient, that's my tip. <laughs> my fourth tip kind of mixes with the previous tip. Don't add water. Like, don't be like, oh, this is too hard, it's never gonna get liquid, I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of water. Don't. Because water and oil, I mean, any water that you're gonna add to your preparation, it will make it unstable on the shelf and it won't last at all in around like two or three days you will have mold in your nut butter it's a mistake i've made like years ago i was just like oh i'm just gonna add a bit of water just to make it it was the end of the jar just to make it like pourable again no <laughs> i actually have an extra tip for you and i totally forgot it and it's one of the most important don't add sugar to the food processor while it's blending because this will do exactly this and it will never get liquid again so if you want to sweeten your nut butter the best is to add it after everything is blended once it's in a jar when it's cooled down um, then you can add sugar but most of the recipes don't require actually any sugar and my last tip is to be creative with your nut butter. I love to add add-ons in my butters. So for example, peanut butter, whether I buy it from a store or I make it my own, I love to add a little extra in there like goji berries, nuts and seeds and things like that. I think it makes it fun. It's like faster in the morning. You just take a big tablespoon of your nut butter and it has extra little minerals and vitamins. It's a tip that I got from Pickup Lime, I think, a while ago and I've been using it and I love it. So this is my last little tip. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed those tips. Let me know um, what's your favorite nut butter and if I can be of any help, leave your comment, leave your question below and I will answer. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click subscribe because it's free and it would make me really happy. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you soon in my next video.